guys, it's Jesse, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually ready for the Olympics to be over because they've been on so late. I've been staying up way past my bedtime every single night, and I need my sleep. So it's an exciting day because I have a brand new camera I got over the weekend, and so this is my first video with my new camera. I don't have my normal setup completely replicated with the new camera yet because I needed a different cord to connect this camera to the monitor, so that should be here later today. So I'm flying kind of off the cuff. I have a viewfinder, which is kind of exciting. Um, but I don't have my normal monitor set up, so I can't really see what I'm doing. I'm gonna have to depend on my mirror since the viewfinder is a little bit far away. But that just adds to the challenge today. So I've already moisturized my face. I've talked about this in my last couple of videos. My skin has been so dry lately, I think just because of the weather. And so I've been using the Clinique Moisture Surge Overnight Mask as my daily moisturizer, which is this. And I feel like that's helped keep my skin kind of like nice and soft instead of cracky and awful. And I'm not going to use any primer today because I'm trying to figure out if that's the root of the like nose texture I get with the foundation, if it's primer related. But I am going to use a little bit of Tarte Maracuja oil just to give my face, you know, that extra hydration that I feel like I just keep harping on and on about. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. And then I'm just gonna spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus, trying not to get that in my coffee, and blend that out. So every night that there's been figure skating, it comes on NBC, like the regular primetime lineup. It comes on at like 10.45, which is already way past my bedtime. And of course the last group of skaters don't come on until I think like 11.45. So what happens is I keep falling asleep, like, three skaters in, two skaters in, and then I pass out, and then I wake up at like two o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, holy crap, I fell asleep during the ice skating. So then at two o'clock in the morning, this has happened like three nights in a row, at two o'clock in the morning, I go back and I watch all the ice skating, but then I'm like awake, and so I've been awake between the hours of like three and four, like most of the nights this week. So the Olympics need to stop so I can get back on a regular sleep schedule. I love that foundation. I feel like that will always be one of my go-to favorites. It's so easy to put on and I feel like it always looks good and it's easy to blend out. It's definitely a good one. For concealer today, I did get the lighter shades in from ColourPop. Um, I ordered light and light neutral. I think I'm gonna use, say, I guess I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use light neutral today. That seems to be the lighter shade. And I'm just gonna go for that. Like I said in the video, when I tried this out for the first time but with the wrong dark shade, I love the applicator on this. I feel like it applies a lot of product, but very precisely, and I just love the way that it goes on. It's so funny because I'm such a beauty blender addict, but I've actually been using brushes more lately than using the beauty blender. Ever since I tried out the Shape Tape Foundation and it looked so bad when I used the beauty blender, um, I've really been using the same, what is it, Morphe 439 brush for my foundation because I just feel like it looks really good. I love the way that it goes on with that brush. And in super exciting news, Morphe is now at Ulta. I don't think they're at all stores. They're, they're only in one Atlanta store right now. I'm sure that they'll be in more like as time goes on. But uh, my friend and I were in Ulta the other day and we like turned the corner in the drugstore section and there was Jaclyn Hill's face and we were like, oh. And they actually have a fair amount of stuff. They have a ton of the palettes and they have a ton of the brushes, which I didn't even think about, but that's so nice having the Morphe brushes at Ulta. To set underneath my eyes, I'm gonna use my MAC Patrick Star Powder. To prime my eyelids today, I'm gonna use the Morphe Eyelid Primer. This came, I got some other Morphe 
goodies that I'll be using in a minute. Um, but this came as a sample, so I thought I would use this today too. I'm just gonna put it on with my finger. I think this must be a new product. It says 12 hour long wear waterproof. A little goes a long way. Apply a thin layer to bare lids. Wait 60 seconds and then apply your eyeshadow. It's worth the wait, I promise. For eyeshadow first, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Geek shade Tan Lines. And I'm gonna pack that pretty aggressively in my lid. In my crease. bring in some color because I feel like I've done the standard kind of bronzy brown eye look a couple times recently so I want to change it up a little bit I'm going back I've been going back and forth about whether I wanted to do more blue or more green but I think I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek shade Shark Bait and I'm just gonna pop that kind of in the same place keep that in my crease And I'm be going in with something different on my eyelid. Um, so I'm not too concerned if this comes down onto my lid or looks kind of messy because I'm gonna clean it up with kind of a cut crease look. I just do wanna make sure though that it's very blended out. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of Makeup Geek Secret Garden because it's sitting here. It's kind of a slightly darker shade than that. It has a little bit of metallic in it which I think will provide a little bit of contrast. I don't know, we'll try it out. Okay, for my eyelid, I have a brand new product. I'm pretty excited to try these out. Um, I got three of the new Morphe gel liners and the colors on these were so pretty um, that I just had to get all three of these. So the colors I got are Vitamin C, which is a really pretty kind of like electric blue color that I'm really excited to try out. Um, and then I got Voodoo, which is a really pretty purple. And then the last one, which I'm going to use today is Lit AF and it's a really pretty gold color. And I think I'm gonna put this all over my lid. So instead of using it as a liner, I'm gonna kind of use it as my cut crease. I haven't even swatched these. Like I've really, I've saved these. I need a smaller brush. <laughs> so I'm just taking my MAC 242 and just kind of putting this all over my lid. Not only is this lit AF, it is pigmented AF. I love that Morphe just keeps coming out with new products beyond eyeshadow palettes. Cause I have loved like honestly, like most of the products that they've come out. I mean, there've been a couple that I didn't love as much, like their concealer and their bronzer sticks. I was not a huge fan of, but there have been so many other products like the setting spray and the liquid lipsticks that I have just loved. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more of Shark Bait just to blend out the outer corner. And then also going back in with a little bit more Secret Garden. To line my upper lash line, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Best O. This is kind of like a really dark kind of eggplanty brown color. Um, and I just wanna add kind of like that contrast in with the colors. I don't want it to be black because I don't want to be too heavy, but I wanted something. So I thought this like dark purple would look very complimentary towards these eyes. Okay, I went ahead and finished up my eyes off camera. Um, I kept the lower eye relatively simple. I just popped that same uh, ColourPop liner in my lower waterline and brought a little bit of shadow down. I popped on my Lily Lashes. These are the Havana Lashes. This is the first time I've used Lily Lashes and I have to say like, these are insane. First of all, the band is actually like incredible. They went on super easy and they're super comfortable and lightweight, even though they are massive. I 
actually got the Lily Lashes because they were on Hot Look about three weeks ago. I think these are normally like $30 a pair, which I don't spend that much on lashes, um, but they were on sale on Hot Look for like $12 a pair. So I got the Havana ones and I got the Miami ones. And it's interesting because when they came, apparently these are the first Sephora collection. Um, not that it matters, but I just thought that was an interesting thing. These aren't, I guess, the regular Lily Lashes. These are the ones for Sephora, which is fine. And of course, I also filled in my brows while I was at it. So now I'm ready to finish up my face. First, I'm gonna bronze with my Benefit Hula Bronzer. For highlight, I'm gonna pick up a little bit of ColourPop Flexitarian, and I'm just gonna put that on my finger. Then I'm gonna go into my Morphe 9 and blush palette and pick up this color right here. To line my lips, I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Trophy Wipe Lip Liner. Then I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Notion. So it's funny, my mom actually placed a ColourPop order a while ago and it came really late. So they gave her a free liquid lipstick and she was like, I'm never gonna use this shade. So she gave it to me. I feel like there's a backstory for like every piece of makeup that I own. I actually don't love the ColourPop liquid lipsticks. I bought a couple of these when they first came out. Um, and I just, they just weren't my favorite formula. I just thought they were kind of patchy and I just wasn't super in love with them, even though they are really cheap, which is great. And it's funny because when she gave me this one, um, I can see that they've changed their packaging. I don't know if this is for all of them or just these ultra matte lips, but I see the packaging's changed a little bit. But I still am not sure about the formula. It is super drying. Like it's already dry after like three seconds you put it on and it is completely dry which normally would be a good thing, but it's also kind of hard to work with it and you know get it onto your lips. To give a little bit of an ombre effect, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe liquid lipstick in the shade Virgin on top of that. Just gonna put the little in the center. Okay, and then I'm just gonna finish off with a hit of my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Okay, and here's the finished look. I love these fun little pops of color with the green and the gold and kind of the darker lip. I just thought this would be a fun look to sort of bring out those fall colors that have been hibernating all winter long. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.